itchiness, dryness, sensitive scalp, want to prevent or completely cover gray hairs while at the same time you improve the structure of your hair, then you have found the remedy you need. Welcome to my second video of hair infusions. Rosemary is an ally to prevent the early appearance of gray hair, but also helps to cover those few ones that had already made their debut. This is due to its properties related to pigmentation, which gives a powerful color to the element to which it adheres. If you're young and already have many gray hairs, some of the causes could be a lack of vitamin B. This is also because of the absence of pantotenic acid, which is the main component of vitamin B5. In this case, you should be taking vitamin B complex as long as your doctor recommends them. Apple cider vinegar is a great beauty ally, especially for hair. It balances the pH of the hair strands, seals the cuticles so that the hair looks brighter and fights dandruff. Applied to the scalp promotes strength to the follicle and helps nutrients reach the hair bulb to promote faster, healthier hair growth. To start this recipe, heat up one liter of water and add a handful of rosemary. Bring it to boil, next let it cold and then strain it in a plastic container to avoid accidents in the shower. Rosemary water has vitamin A, B2, B6, C, calcium, zinc, magnesium and iron. It is proven to accelerate hair growth even in alopecia cases. It also stimulates blood circulation of the scalp, giving the hair volume and silkiness. Then add a quarter cup of unfiltered apple cider vinegar. For oily hair, it is recommended to use a greater amount of vinegar since this will help eliminate oil excess. To know how much is appropriate, start with the recommended solution and add progressively until you find the right amount that best suits you. Sometimes I like to apply some type of oil in the scalp the night before or the same day in the morning. In these clips, I'm showing you both cases. This helps to prepare the scalp to receive and get the best out of the infusion. It is important to give a massage to the scalp before the shower using a massage brush. That way, we activate the capillary hair receptors so that the infusion as well as the shampoo and conditioner work better due to the microcirculation. If you don't know which brush to use and how to properly brush your hair, I'm linking a video up here with my entire collection of wooden brushes. Always remember to check the water temperature. We want it warm enough to remove excess oils, masks, or serums. I'm currently removing a serum I previously put on my hair this morning while I was at the gym. That is why my hair looks a little oily. So I'm using warm water to remove it and then I'll change the temperature. Warm water turns out to be a double-edged sword. It helps to remove dirt, but it also causes more brittle and porous hair. And that vapor causes a lot of frizz. The hair needs moisture to stay frizz-free. Such humidity can easily escape. Cold water closes hair pores, prevents dirt and the accumulation of oil. It also retains moisture, conserving natural sebum. A rinse with cold water will manage to smooth the hair, closing the scales of the cuticle, and that's the reason your hair shines. In abuse decreases volume and movement. If the hair texture is already thin, it is best to use warm water. If instead it is curled, a rinse without heat and steam is the most appropriate. Don't forget that in order for your treatments to be effective, you must use 100% natural hair cleaning products. This means no sulfates or parabens. Anyway, I'm leaving in the description of the video as well as in the comment section the links of all the products that I'm using in this video. With your hair properly clean, proceed to the application of the infusion. Start with the rest of your hair and leave it like that for 5 minutes. Next, squeeze out the excess.
Now we're going to use a plastic squeezy bottle to apply the rest of the infusion directly into the roots. Make sure it goes directly to the scalp. Once you had applied enough, proceed with a 5 minute massage with your fingertips and then rinse using only water. Do not forget to dry your hair using microfiber towels. Friends, there's not such a thing as a magic infusion that will make your hair grow like Rapunzel. We have to dedicate time to our care routines and learn to understand and know what's best for our hair. I hope you put this infusion into practice and share your experience. Remember, you can always find me on my social networks where I'm always sharing tips about health, beauty, and lifestyle. Love you all. See you next time. Bye.